Uh, hello everyone, let's do another pick a card reading about you and another person and how you relate to each other. We will see both for you and for them the thoughts, uh, emotions, intentions, wishes and fears and advice for both of you. So you can choose between three piles, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Pick your deck and let's get into it. Welcome pile number one. Let's get into your reading, their thoughts. Their feelings. Their intentions. For the intentions, another card from the Oracle. their wishes their fears and advice for them let's see your role your thoughts to want it to come out your feelings your intentions your wishes your fears and advice for you So let's see, possible outcome for this situation, relationship or friendship, whatever this is. Six of cards. Okay, let's see the bottom, ten of hearts. Let's see what we have here. For their thoughts, they are um, thinking about uh, making a, a relationship with you, making a home with you, making a family, uh, possibly with you, and uh, to advance whatever uh, currently is uh, happening with you, to advance it to uh, more. If you are just friends, to advance it maybe for the first date. If you are already dating, to advance it uh, to engagement and so on. So in the, this is uh, in their thoughts. In their feelings, page of hearts with the innocence, it's saying uh, there are some sympathies here, they, they like you, uh, they can see themselves uh, opening up emotionally to you. What I don't like is um, intentions, ladies de los muertos, acceptance and equality. So let me just see about that. Uh, but in combination with the seven of trees, maybe it's not uh, that bad, actually. So uh, intentions are to uh, find a solution for everything. O oops, even uh, some uh, depression or uh, some kind of state of death. 
that in your life uh, maybe uh, to find solution for some kind of stagnancy in your life or something like that to make things more uh, fun uh, but with seven of trees uh, they're contemplating they're not uh, completely sure about uh, their intentions uh, could this uh, go uh, much further and so on and then with the wishes king of stars uh, they want to have uh, someone that uh, is intellectually uh, challenging for them. They want to uh, be on the same page uh, with another person. They think they can uh, resolve anything through the conversation and so on. And they are more rational person. They also want someone who is more rational than uh, more in their feelings. And uh, Knight of Hearts and the Romance is uh, the card which is showing their fears. So even though they have Page of Hearts here, like some possibility to open up emotionally, their fears are to dive in deep emotionally with someone. They are rather uh, stay with King of Stars in the realm of logic. So this is something you should uh, uh, have in mind if you are more intuitive and uh, more easygoing person this person is more analytical and is afraid of uh, deep emotions so um five of stars with the diversity is the fears they don't want to have any discord they don't want to have any fights they don't want to have any disloyal partner uh someone cheating or something like that so this is in their fears okay let's see for you eight of angels and the beginning uh so uh, what is in your uh, thoughts is a new beginning with someone uh, when you feel like you cannot do anything like your um, hands are tied and uh, there's nothing that can bring you out of this uh, negative pattern of thinking except maybe new beginning with uh, someone new so this is in your uh, thoughts uh, pretty uh, general not specific to this uh, person uh, that is in the upper road not row row upper row uh, the moon illusions within your uh, emotions you don't know how you feel uh, you are not clear with what you're feeling you are not ready to open up you are uh, basically uh, putting some uh, stance on your feelings maybe you have uh, carnal desires uh, here more than any kind of romantic feelings the devil intentions the devil fear with the ghost regret so uh, you want uh, again your intentions are to have another chance uh, because there are some things uh, from your past that you regret and uh, you want to overcome your fear basically um, your intentions are to overcome your fear so that you are not uh, regretful as you uh, are for the things from your past so I don't know which exactly those fear are but some kind of attachment or something like that uh, again not specifically tied to this person more it feels like a general intention uh, then your fears seven of angels uh, progress in a relationship is your fear possibly because of uh, this shadow and the ghost regrets from the past you don't know how will things uh, uh, unfold and you are fearful the, to find out no these are the these are the wishes sorry so you are not feel for you are wishing for the progress in the relationship pardon me uh these are wishes not fears so you are wishing the progress in the relationships uh and uh, you are not uh, you are uh, your wish is to have someone uh, that is sincere with you that is not hiding anything that is not leaving you and so on Okay, now the fears, five of trees, uh, similar with the five of stars that we saw here. 
um, you are uh, fearful of any kind of limitation what if you like someone else what if they like someone else how to be in a monogamous relationship without uh, cheating and so on uh, these are your fears and uh, advice for you to turn around revolution uh, this is uh, actually the the temperance card so you should uh, take it very very slowly with this person and uh, see how things uh, are going uh, possible outcome for you two six of hearts possible outcome is uh, for you to to experience something similar that you both have had in your past but uh, as it seems from this spread you were not very happy with how things uh, turn in your past with the regret and neither they are with this um, uh, advice not to uh, try to win this advice for them is not to try to win any arguments and to be very harsh uh, with uh, harsh and angry with their uh, communication style which is uh, possibly their problem so uh, this could be some kind of karmic relationship basically uh, even though you have a culmination uh, here at the bottom of the deck that uh, this could uh, become something mature in the future the possible outcome is for you to um, experience uh, negative uh, uh, things that you were experiencing uh, in your past uh, but also uh, it can be that uh, this could be healing for your inner child so thank you very much first pile and let's move on hello pile number two you chose this deck so let's see uh, for the person you choose this uh, pile for their thoughts their emotions their intentions another card for intentions from the oracle their wishes two cards wanted to come out their fears and advice for them And uh, let's see for uh, you. Your thoughts. Your emotions. Your intentions. another card for the intentions we have it wishes fears and 
advice for you. So let's see what we have here. Yes, uh, possible outcome. Eight of Wands, lot of energy, lot of exchange. And at the bottom, Two of Wands in reverse, so not very much progress. Okay, let's see. Not progressing from, let's say, uh, sexual connection. So let's see for them. Sorry, my phone rang. Uh, so let's see for their uh, thoughts. We have King of Swords. So they are very rational, very logical. They as well want to talk uh, things out. And uh, they are thinking about you and considering uh, things. Uh, regarding their emotions, we have Empress in the reverse. But this is a pregnant Empress. Maybe they are wanting someone to have a child with but are not quite ready uh, to support a family or something like that because the energy is reversed. Maybe they are not very abundant, uh, but uh, their feelings uh, might be, you know, uh, tender like the Empress and uh, loving. Uh, when it comes to their uh, intentions, we have two uh, contradictory cards because all is about, uh, about future vision and wise action and four of swords is deep uh, uh, rec reconsiderment so uh, they, their intentions are not very clear to them right now they maybe have some vision that they would like maybe this family maybe this uh, child uh, but they are not um, pretty uh, good with planning on how to get there and uh, they are considering their actions as they as they go so uh, maybe uh, intention is there but they are considering the action steps as they go they are uh, planning on the go and uh, they uh, need to uh, think uh, before they act emotionally and they are ensuring that they think strategically and uh, not impulsively for the wishes, uh, we have uh, the wish to love again, Ace of Cups with Three of Swords. Uh, this, seem, this person was heavily injured emotionally in the past. This uh, hurt is still here, uh, but uh, their um, wish is to basically love again. Uh, then their fears with Ten of Swords, uh, they uh, are afraid of betrayal, basically. someone using them, someone wasting their time, someone uh, not being there for them, leaving them and so on. And the um, advice card for them is again Emperor in the reverse. So uh, contrary to what their intention is to be strategic and not impulsive, uh, the um, the advice is uh, to let go of some control and uh, let life organically happen for them and not be um, so uh, strict and rigid because the card is in reverse. Okay, so let's see uh, your cards. We have a ghost again on the same position. So first, for your thoughts, the hermit, you are not very uh, open to think about this person. You are more uh, thinking uh, about yourself and thinking 
some general thoughts about your loneliness or something like that. Uh, you don't have with the Queen of Swords uh, deep emotions for this person. Uh, you are just uh, considering what they are telling you. Uh, again, very logically and uh, very uh, tempered. With the uh, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, uh, this is that you want to, um, again, mend some regrets that you have from the past by uh, having some win-win situation and uh, uh, learning and teaching from each other with your intentions to learn something more, to teach uh, more, to have some cooperation and win-win situation with another person uh, a little bit to relinquish control of how things should be after that we have wishes seven of pentacles you wish to leave uh, behind what you regret and to move forward in your life uh, with uh, something new but uh, that's why you are just considering and thinking within yourself would this be a good uh, situation for that uh, the fear is uh, that in the reverse so you fear the transformation that needs to happen uh, so that you'll be able to enjoy this uh, uh, relationship and uh, queen of pentacles as um advice regarding this uh, situation is to um uh, have faith in yourself and to depend on yourself in this situation maybe this person is not very serious apart from uh, sexual connection maybe they have uh, uh, good uh, intentions and maybe they have big plans for the future here with the family and the child but uh, uh, most likely outcome is eight of wands which means a lot of energy exchange a lot of talk a lot of sex but uh, nothing uh, actually progressing here uh, with the uh, two of wands in reverse so thank you very much second pile and let's move on hello and welcome pile number three you chose this deck so let's see for their thoughts straightforward for their emotions toward you intentions another card for their intentions Let's see wishes. Fears. And advice for them. And then see for you let's see for you your thoughts your feelings oh two cards Two cards again for the intentions but I need one oracle as well let's see your wishes your fears 
cards are just jumping in this uh, option and uh, advice for you most likely outcome for this situation defeat so not looking very well and the fool at the bottom of the deck so not looking very well for this connection but let's see let's see first for them the cards that we have graveyard unnecessary fear with the emperor Oof. with their intentions it doesn't seem that uh, your uh, person wants you in their life uh, let's see seven of cups uh, their uh, thoughts are not about you their thoughts are dispersed to other romantical uh, partners and uh, options uh, their feelings about you are that uh, this is just uh, some kind of uh, work situation you are their employee you are their boss you are their uh, colleague uh, this is just uh, uh, situation they feel like uh, uh, this situation is only for them to learn something and take the lessons uh, with them uh, for their um, uh, for their intentions, we have a necessary fear with the emperor card. So they have uh, they want to rule uh, themselves. They want to have their own uh, autonomy and integrity. And this feels very rough energy. Like their intentions is to uh, strictly uh, pull you away from them, or better said, push you away from them. And uh, uh, Knight of Swords uh, is uh, their wishes, so uh, they want to fight with you, they want to argue with you, they want to discuss things, but it's very much attacking um, energy uh, from them verbally, and uh, maybe it's uh, also... Uh, uh, running away energy, they wish to run away from you. Uh, with their fears, uh, there is a queen of wands. Uh, their fears are to actually do something about this situation and make an end of it or, you know, uh, fulfill their wishes and, uh, uh, you know, uh, transform the, the, the energy. Um, in the in the way that they want to and uh, high priestess for them advice is to listen to their intuition and their instincts and their instincts are telling them that uh, you are not a good uh, match for them that they need to uh, put a stop to that with the graveyard card and uh, with the emperor as well and uh, look this as more a work uh, situation so let's see about you prince of cups two cards here knight of discs with the science uh, let me just uh, go slowly here with the prince of cups uh, for your uh, thoughts you are uh, thinking about uh, could this uh, uh, situation uh, open up more um, emotionally uh, but uh, you are you don't have with the prince um, uh, some concrete ideas of uh, what this could be in the future uh, again you have a oh sorry sorry in this deck the prince is like a king okay so yes prince is like a king so maybe you have a solid idea that this could be a good emotional relationship or something like that 
and uh, in your thoughts in your uh, emotions uh, you are more logical and uh, you are not allowing yourself uh, to to be emotional here and you are doing uh, bidding for this uh, prince for someone else so your thoughts you have uh, emotions in your thoughts and you have um, logic in your emotions so it's kind of uh, confusing here for me so let's see for the intentions we have uh, three cards even Princess of Wands, Princess of Disc, and the Death card. So uh, you want uh, to die together with this person and are uh, willing to do anything uh, possible to make this happen. I don't think the, the this person... We have a moth here, like a moth to a flame. You want to do anything uh, possible to make uh, your plans from this Prince of Cups uh, to to work. But I don't think this uh, person is uh, ready to settle down and uh, uh, die with you. Go. It says the eternal cycle begins here. I don't think they would like to have eternity with you from the upper cards uh, which is why for the most possible outcome of this relationship we have a card of the feet so nevertheless let's see your wishes are pleasure your wishes are uh, more like uh, uh, hedonistic here you want to have uh, luxury you want to have a lot of sensual like, sexual experience with this person again nothing solid just a pleasure uh, your fears are the star uh, your fears are to actually uh, give uh, have uh, equal uh, and reciprocal a thing between uh, receiving and giving and advice for you prince of swords uh, well prince of swords is uh, someone who is uh, gossiping and someone who is uh, um, um, collecting information about others uh, but uh, he, he is here in this card in uh, some kind of a war so uh, maybe the advice would be for you here to stop fighting for this uh, situation and uh, find something more suitable for you so thank you very much for participating uh, pile number three and everyone that participated in this reading and uh, see you next time bye